okay i i faced like so many challenges trying to control the bcr 2000 or any or do any controller any controller on reaper so i'll show you how to do it because i tried to watch the um, the video and i didn't understand because that video was old it was from 2019 and i tried to control i like controlling my plugins with this thing here it makes things simple what i mean and you can see the i tried to make some labels filter expand compressor see this is my eq see so i had a problem with the at first i tried to make the lens thing you know the lens stuff man this thing makes things like difficult if you do this let me try to open a plugin let me say vst vst oh, no i'll try to open something like this eq here so if i do this i come here and like press a button you can go to parameters and press land and like let me move this thing the output let me move the up so if i do this you can see my midi channel came here so if i do this like i put it here and like i open another plugin and like move it somewhere like here see if i come here this thing won't adjust to my knobs here so that's what i wanted so we're going here again let me put my phone down i'll try to explain so what you need you create you create um a folder you must do underscore double underscore lbx underscore sktl you must make it your first like track and you you can't rename everything because you can't rename this to your name or anything you have to make it this way you have to make it this way if you don't the script won't find this track so it's all about the script guys so you need you need this these things you need a smart knob tool let me try see just watch this i'm calling my smart knob tool with this plugin all i have to do is this see i press this thing then it will come that's it that's what i need to do man no not this one this this one this one if i press this thing i'll try to see it just came this is the thing so let me move it to another screen so you can see it clear so i just call this plugin here this is not a plugin per se it's a script so i can call it so you need a you need this smart control which is a smart tool just search lb lbx on github and download the scripts there you and you will need a real you need to install relearn and on lbx scripts you'll find fade box you'll read the instruction on how to install it so this is the things you need 
on my feed my feed box it's it's the first plugin you can see like i made it to 32 faders so if you are, if you are getting four faders you have to remove it like this you see you have to remove the minus you will see the minus if you are getting like four slides you have to remove the the minus you know sign to make them appear like this like this and you need to get relearn and on relearn on your control input you must put your controller this is mine and feedback output you must put on your control again the main you have to like save your presets whenever you do them you have to see and to make things fast to make things first you have to say learn many and i think the old program had only map and something so you have to do it like what one by one one by one so i like the new one because you can say learn many and like control everything so i'll show you guys let me try to control my okay this let me go to this one the second one so you press learn see if i move this thing it it will say task the target which you want to control which is i want to control this thing and i'm done i say stop so if i open this thing and control see see just watch the thing when i control the plugin see i'm moving the plugin and check the lights on the midi i'm not even moving anything see you know guys i want to show you some some stuff but i can't record this thing on 4k cause you won't even see it clear so let me close this thing and this is the thing i got and if you are getting like delays the feedbacks because some sometimes it can be jerky when you move something like this it will be jumpy let me do this see see what's going on here it's jumpy it's jumpy you have to say prevent echo feedbacks so if i move this thing see it runs smooth now it's so smooth right now so i can say okay but to make things simple you have to like rename this thing say see it's 24 maybe if i say 24 i'll say i'll write one two maybe it's on channel or whatever so i can see it i can see whenever i try to map it with a plugin i can write this thing you know this is the cgg i can see it so if i can go to my smart tool and here if i i open this thing and i press the see on my smart tool i can control this thing like easy because i can come here or you can learn if you are lazy but and click this click this they will appear they will appear if you click any button on this thing here it will appear but this is not something i recommend because the way you set things on the relearn you have to follow these things because see look at this so if i move see that so just delete man i don't care if i control if i like 
explain this video correctly because I want people to learn this thing, man, because it's a cool thing. I know it's easy on Studio One. I tried it on Studio One. It's so simple, man. And here, you can say, let me try to do this, man, because now it's confusing. You can do this if you want to. You can see lens source, move your knobs and lend the target. You can see 32 and move it. It will show here. Approve if you press it. Like lend, move, see. Now it's focused here. Let me remove this so it don't interfere with my stuff, man. So go to LB, LBX. I'll try to to put the link. I know I didn't explain this thing like quite good, but you'll read the instructions there. You'll see the videos. Just search. I just wanted to highlight this cool thing, man, because these people are working so hard, and I think it's much too. Two, it's coming soon it's been coming soon i don't know man when it's coming out but they save summer but me i'm in south africa man see please guys please guys go read support that guy just donate if you have to to that guy because these guys are helping us man so what you need it's LPX fader box, relearn and smart tool. That's it. And I saw he said something about you don't need. He said you don't need smart tool anymore. You can do the on auto load. You can say depending on the FX. But I tried to do this thing like this. Like I tried to do this thing like depend on depend on the thing but i can control i can control this thing but my leads are not you know moving so i think he has to do like a video tr explaining everything man because this thing it's a cool trick but you know it's hard to understand because i see many people like they don't even start where it's supposed to start. They just show you the things they did. Nobody ex is explaining anything.